You are finally ready to invest in some good quality designer fashion items into your personal style, but you might be wasting your hard earned money on these designer pieces that are actually making your outfits look cheap. Hello. That was my question. Hello, ladies, and welcome to Pink April Diary Style. If you're new here, I am Suji, and as I already mentioned in this video, we're going to talk about seven of these really ridiculous designer pieces that I feel like you should not invest, should not at all spend, spend or waste your money on because these pieces are actually cheapening your looks. Now, again, you do you. I'm here to just help you elevate your personal style. So this is pretty much my job. It's your money, so spend it the way you want to. Now the first one in the list is an obvious one and you have heard it from many of us fashion bloggers and it is these really heavily logo added leather handbags. Now may it be tote bags, may it be handbags in general and the most popular amongst them is the Louis Vuitton Neverfull. I feel like that bag has just ran its course and it is really outdated and it looks really, really cheap. And again, another version of these bags are the Dior tote bag, another really outlandish, really loud handbag that I feel like has no purpose. It's not even functional. Yes, it has a ton of room, but there is no long shoulder strap or anything. So carrying it is a nightmare. The only way you can carry it is on your suitcase or just like a briefcase, which is not really comfortable when you have packed the bag. Now, there are plenty of these similar styles of really heavily logo added handbags that I feel like do not really look as stylish. They are not really adding any style cosent to your entire outfit. In fact, it feels like it's just a big brand advertisement for that designer brand because you're wearing it. You become kind of like an influencer where you are in fact paying the brand to advertise for them. Isn't that ridiculous? Now, it does not stop there. If you are not into designer bags and you still buy these really heavily logo bags like the guest bags, the Calvin Klein bags, I think there is a coach version of it too. Just stop buying those. I feel like you don't need to show that what is the designer brand or the brand itself of the bag by having logos everywhere on top of the bag. You can just have it subtly in form of a hardware or a little bit of a slight logo detail which is embossed in the leather itself or somewhere in the handbag where it just shows that yes, it is a branded bag, but it is not really on your face at all. I think that's the way to kind of elevate your outfit, showcasing that yes, you want you are investing in your personal style. So you've invested invested in some high quality pieces without making it like an advertisement. The next on the list are these outrageous and really outlandish styles of designer sneakers that I feel like everybody seems to be wearing or rocking because they feel like this is making them look really stylish, really rich, but it is not. I think one of the popular ones are these Balenciaga dad sneakers that have a lot of detail in them. I feel like this is a really statement piece that you need guts to wear. It does not really go well with other pieces in your closet. I feel like nothing in my wardrobe would work with these styles of sneakers. So what is going to happen either I have to completely change my wardrobe to wear these kind of sneakers or they're just not going to elevate any of my style. So what's the point in spending a thousand dollars on these sneakers just to show that yes, you have these designer sneakers to wear. There are plenty of really affordable versions of leather sneakers that are high quality. Another really popular pair of these trendy um, designer sneakers, which are like worth 500 something dollars, are these golden goose sneakers. I don't know why they are so popular. Why would anybody wear them? They don't even look like they're brand new shoes. They have this really worn out vibe to them. And why would you pay $500 for a worn out pair of shoes? Again, this is a really big fad in the fashion industry, which I don't think so adds any style quotient or does not elevate your outfits at all. Instead, just go for the plain white leather sneakers. I've always vouched for white leather sneakers. They're one of my favorite simple leather sneakers. They look really classy. They instantly elevate your outfit make your outfit looks really expensive without the dollar amount now the popular version of these designer shoes that i again feel like i don't know why we want to wear them are these again logo embossed canvas style of sneakers or shoes which have tons of logos in them just like the handbags again another piece where 
you don't really need to wear that style of shoes it doesn't really add any style potion to your entire outfit it just makes it look like you have a designer logo out there your eyes are drawn to it and you would want to just see that instead of your entire outfit i just go for again regular converses i feel like converse now has come up with so many fun shades and fun styles which still look nice still look elevated and you will still elevate your entire outfit and going to create a really chic at the leisure look and again if you don't want to go for white leather sneakers now this next style of shoes uh, do not really have any kind of logo but they are trendy designer shoes i think the famous ones are these bottega veneta slide mules that i saw a couple of years ago i think it became really really popular because of the classic signature bottega weaves on them they are a really stylish chic look and i think i saw everybody rocking them but these are really really trendy style i don't know how comfortable they are i'm pretty sure they're not that comfortable they are just a piece that makes you look like okay you have worn designer shoes so instead of those what you can invest in are good classic timeless pieces like loafers the gucci horse bit loafers are a classic style they will never go out of style there is nowhere any logo added to the shoes the signature horse bit kind of gives you the vibe that they are gucci shoes they're really high quality another one are the Chanel sling back pumps again really classic really stylish but they have their own signature style and they are not really screaming out a designer brand now while i am all for trendy bags i always suggest or recommend picking the trends or styles that you feel like you can wear five years down the line if you can't wear the same handbag or can't use the same handbag five years down the line don't buy it because they are pretty much going to phase out in a year or two people are going to stop buying it and even if you try to resell them they are not going to be worth that much so you have wasted all of your money now and specifically in bags the trendy bags that i'm talking about are these unstructured styles so bags one of the brands that does it a lot are balenciaga i think their unstructured studded bags are all over all over the internet a lot of people love them they bring in an edgy vibe but to me these styles of handbags do not really flatter most of us most of our styles this is really really niche out kind of style segment so it's really built or made for a niche segment of designer handbag users who have that kind of edgy style if you really love Valenciaga and you want to buy one of their bags I feel like instead of these studded really unstructured bags, go for these classic hourglass style of Valenciaga bags I think they are really popular these are still a little bit timeless so whenever you are looking to purchase these style of expensive products think about about how much you're gonna wear where you're gonna wear them I have an entire video of what to consider a proper checklist of what to consider when you're trying to buy a designer handbag I've listed it in the description box below for you now again I know there are plenty of other brands as well who do that I feel like right now with the hobo style of bags are really really popular you will see it everywhere while hobo style is not really non timeless it does come back but they come back with the twist so be very careful when you're investing in bags like that to see whether you're going to actually get a lot of wear out of it or you're just buying because you see that on social media ready to wear in general is a much more affordable version from any designer brand because they want to have pieces that regular people normal people like you and i can go and shop for and still say that they are shopping designer so most of the time you will find t-shirts or shirt dresses or dresses or skirts or stuff that have heavy logo detailing in them they're going to scream that designer brand and a lot of us because we see that that's the only cheap version available that we can buy from the designer brand we end up buying them i don't think so they really elevate your outfit in fact they cheapen them again you become a giant billboard for that particular designer brand without actually getting any money from them i feel like if you really love wearing these designer logos you might as well just go and get some advertisement influencer money from them because you are literally 
advertising for the brand. Now, if there is no harm in wearing designer clothing items, though they, since they are really, really expensive, they are really difficult to maintain and oftentimes they do not last more than a year or two. So really think through what kind of designer pieces you want to invest in to actually wear in from the ready to wear collection. Um, most likely you should go for coats, trench coats, or any kind of gloves, or scarves are a great version where these are not really going to overpower your entire outfit. A slight logo detail will not harm your entire outfit, but they're still going to be affordable and they're also going to last you a long time. Now this next item is a piece of accessory and one of the accessories that I feel like I sometimes agree, sometimes do not agree with kind of whether you should have them in designer logos or not. Now I'm talking about jewelries. Now jewelries in general like earrings or you know big rings with giant logos or um, bracelets or necklaces or with logos in them, I feel like that's a big no-no. They don't really again do the same thing, they kind of show that okay you are wearing a Gucci earring or you're wearing a Gucci necklace or a Louis Vuitton necklace but other than that they're not really adding value. If you really want to invest in designer jewelry I would recommend picking brands that have real gold jewelry because they actually hold their value so once you no longer want to wear them. I hope you found this video helpful. If you did don't forget to click the like button to let me know and if you haven't already click the subscribe button either down here or somewhere up there so you can watch more of these Pink April Diary style videos. Now, before you leave, don't forget to watch this next video where I'm sharing 12 expensive items that are actually worth spending the money on. I'll see you in my next video. Bye.